than a year after Sisters of the Road announced plans to purchase and renovate Chinatown's historic House of Louis, the organization says the funding fell through. Digging deeper into the financial challenges and the leadership changes, Joel Jones is live with the latest. Joel. Yeah, that's right. It appears this building will stay empty a while longer. Recently, it's been a rough road for sisters, but leadership says they are actively searching for another property and a new path forward. It'll be pushed back a little more, and I think a children's area will be here. More than a year after Sisters of the Road walked us through the historic House of Louis in Portland's Chinatown. The nonprofit is now searching for a new home and leadership as the goal to transform the vacant restaurant falls through. But this is not what we wanted to have happen. Since 1979, the social justice organization has served the homeless, offering meals for $1.50 or 15 minutes of work at their popular cafe on Southwest Davis. Forced to close during the pandemic last summer, the team announced plans to raise roughly $5 million to buy and renovate the restaurant with the hopes of opening late next year. With that no longer happening, I asked how much money they raised and where it goes now. I can't speak about specific numbers. I think the grant you're referring to is the uh, Housing and Urban Development Grant, which we did get, um, and that is a grant that we have for uh, $500,000 that we um, actually are in the process of submitting a correction to so to give us more flexibility for how we use it. Board VP Matt Corpening declined to say how much the organization fundraised for the move, but says they plan to pivot the money as they search for a new location. He says a lacking capital campaign, staff transitions, and economic instability greatly affected donations. Tax filings show contributions to Sisters of the Road continue to drop over the last three years, and the organization was over budget by $26,000 in 2022, but was able to bounce back in 2023. This comes as as former executive director Kat Mahoney steps down after two years, a shift she says is unrelated to the House of Louis project, telling us working alongside the people they advocate for can take an emotional toll. And something can happen and two days later you never see them again. Either they've been hit by a car or yes, they OD'd on, on something or they've been arrested merely for the status of being homeless. And those stories will break your heart and burn you out faster than putting in 70 hour work weeks. Now, Sisters is not alone. In fact, the National Coalition of Nonprofits found 74% of the organizations they surveyed last year reported vacancies, most due to burnout and budget concerns. As for the organization, they say while the location may change, their vision to uplift those most vulnerable remains the same. Live in Chinatown, I'm Joelle Jones, Queen 6 News. Joelle, thank you.